Fresh and Pathless Pelled. We are here at Sea Otter and uh, we're here to scope out the latest in bike packing and gravel grinding gear. Uh, in this video, we're going to take a closer look at some interesting accessories. There's a lot to check out, so let's get going. So, Orlieb is one of the first names you think of in waterproof bike packing gear, and uh, they're showing off an all black edition of their bike packing gear. So, I don't think any like new structural changes, but if you like your bags black on black on black without the orange highlights, you can get a totally murdered out version of the Ortley bike packing bag. So another new thing that they're showing off is the bike packing version of their Attrac uh, backpack. It's short for active travel. Fairly stripped down. They got rid of the fins so it's very kind of lightweight. They've got a valve port here so you can run hydration but still maintains its waterproofness. One unique feature about this bag is the way it opens up. Functions more like a duffel. You can take it off your back and there's like a big waterproof zipper and if you're a person with a shorter tor torso like myself they are coming out with a short torso line. So cool stuff from Ortlieb. So one of the coolest products I've spotted so far at Sea Otter is uh, this TV tray by Surly. And what it is is basically a platform that's designed to bolt on to uh, any pre-existing rack. So here it's bolted onto the Surly 8-pack uh, rack, but you don't have to use a Surly rack if you've got a Blackburn rack or a Salsa rack. Uh, you can bolt this on, give your rack new life, you know, get a Portura bag or what have you. So super versatile. So Revlate is big in the bike packing bag industry, but today they are showing some pretty interesting smaller bags. So this is a uh, really tiny and uh, svelte uh, little mini frame bag that uses a magnetic lock. Uh, it's designed to fit on mini bikes. It hasn't been named yet, so if you want to help Revlate name, name, name it, you know, hit them up on Instagram or, or uh, Twitter. Uh, they're also coming out with this down tube bag. Uh, really grippy stuff, so it won't move up and down the down tube. And uh, one last thing, uh, this is the Shrew. So for your uh, less epic adventures around town, they've come out with this really minimal uh, seat bag. It uses a roll top closure and only attaches via the saddle rails. So nothing to interfere uh, if you're running a dropper post. Togs are super useful in adding different hand positions to handlebars you already have. They're gonna launch a Kickstarter at the end of April. These are kind of prototype models. The, the idea is that it will give you kind of a secure position. It won't slip off uh, when you're descending down that gravel hill. Uh, so interesting product, definitely look for the Kickstarter at the end of April. So if you're tired of being constrained by the typical 5034, a good option is to look at the AGX line by FSA. AGX stands for Adventure Gravel Cross. Uh, these are direct mount, so you have a little bit more flexibility in terms of the chain rings that you choose. You can put up to a uh, 44 tooth chain ring if you want a smaller one in the large ring and down to a 28th in the smaller inner ring. So it really frees you from the confines of the compact road double. So you guys know we are fans of the post carry uh, company transfer case. We're here with Mark. Uh, he's also branching out into kind of some some bike packing style bags. Can you tell us about this front uh, bag here? Yeah, so um, I love riding ep epic hundred mile rides out wherever in the world and I love bringing my camera with me. I've always had a problem bringing it in my jersey so the handlebar bag is perfect. Specifically has a front flap, um, access the contents without undoing the zipper every time. Right. This so will be a waterproof pouch. You could seal everything up if that's what you want to do or if you want relatively quick access you can just use the velcro uh, front flap so these bags are still kind of in prototype mode yeah. but let's talk about this one a little bit most bike packing style seat bags you jam everything in there and then you squish it down so there's like very loose organization but with this with the zipper and the quicker access you can actually kind of place things uh, where they should be yeah, and I've ridden with this prototype and it feels really good. It doesn't, you know, you don't feel it flop around, you don't feel it rub your thighs, so right. just the right size. Yeah. And uh, lastly, you've got this uh, pretty unique frame bag. It's a different spin on uh, frame bags that we've seen. Yeah, so it is a one-off for the Thesis bike here. Um, so what's unique about it is, you know, bottles are such a tradition of cycling. I want to keep the access to the bottles, so you can have access to your water bottle right here instead of normally people have a reservoir or a bladder. Yeah, I'm not a fan of uh, the, the bladder pack and the hydration hose, so if you want to carry stuff in a frame bag but still want you, the usability of your bottles, this, is, this seems like a great solution. Exactly. The Redshift stem was one of our most favorite accessories last year, and uh, here at Sea Otter, they're uh, showing their soon-to-be-available uh, suspension 
seat post. And what's cool about this, you can actually adjust the suspension by changing, changing out the coil. Uh, they've also gone a step further and they're making a dropper, a suspended dropper seat post. So one specifically for mountain bikes with 100 millimeters of travel and a gravel bike specific one with 60 millimeters of uh, travel. So another thing that Redshift is gonna come out with soon is their own handlebar design. This is called the kitchen sink handlebar. And uh, you'll notice it's got this kind of arc here so you can rest your wrist on in a uh, arrow position. But probably more importantly are these kind of ergonomic grips that you can attach to different parts of the drop. So you can kind of widen uh, this part right behind the hoods and add like a, a comfier spot here in the drops. As you guys know, hip bags are a thing. They are not fanny packs. This is a new hip bag from Shower's Pass. It is called the Rain Slinger. The MSRP is gonna be $69, uh, completely waterproof. It's got a built-in light, so if you're commuting, some kind of molly webbing straps if you wanna attach things on there. Uh, designed primarily for mountain biking, but you can also take it bike packing, what have you. There's a little bit of padding here on the back and uh, some re reflective uh, stitching on the waist strap. Uh, pretty slick design. And uh, I think what strikes me most about this is you get a fully waterproof a uh, hip bag, not a frame bag, or a hip bag, not a fanny pack, for just under 70 bucks. So this is a new light by Blackburn. It's their outpost bike and camp light, and it's uh, one light to rule them all. It comes with a clip, so you can clip it onto your handlebar roll. It also comes with a uh, bar mount, so you can put it on your handlebars. But uh, if you're at camp, it's also got this cool retractable uh, cable here. So this is designed so you can put it around your head and use it as a camp light. Uh, but wait, there's more. A uh, little retract ow, retracting button here. Uh, and if you're in your tent and you don't want that kind of a harsh light, it's got a little silicone uh, shield here. I can get out. That pops out and it softens the light so you can read a book or write in your journal in the tent. So camo is so 2012. The next hot pattern is going to be this Hawaiian print. You've heard it here first. Uh, this is a bag by a company called Stashers. They're based up here in Northern California. And what's cool about these bags is you can run them on the down tube as a mini frame bag, as a handlebar bag, or as a hip bag. Um, we're gonna have one to test out this summer, so uh, be sure to check it out on the channel later this year. So a lot of you guys know the Pan Racer Gravel Kings are one of the most popular gravel tires out there. They did a run of them in various colors. These are the older colors. They just, they've, they've been selling like hotcakes that they're gonna do another run in different colors. So they've got kind of this bright orange that's coming to market. It's kind of grayish cream colored ones for a little bit more subdued yet supple look. And I think my personal favorite are these ones with kind of like a terracotta color and that brown sidewall, very classy, uh, very supple looking. So we're here with Kai and Karen, and you have a bag company. Yeah, What's started uh, Kai Venture Bags. So this looks like kind of a roll top uh, portour bag, and you've got- We're in your sack up here, and in here also it's got uh, pockets inside, it's got Velcroing so I can run my padded flaps in these sides, so I can run a camera for protection, open cell foam all the way around and bottom. So how does it attach to the bottom? Is it Velcro straps or? Uh, right here on the bottom for this one, it has it one buckle strap to keep it from moving side to side, and then right here in the back, they hang on with some uh, molly. I have two simple Velcros, just strap it there. And uh, Karen here is sporting uh, the full-on bike packing range. What's this pattern called, first of all? It's, it's freaking awesome. Splatter, everyone seems to love that one. It's just a splatter design uh, yeah. pattern. Yeah, it's, it feels very like nostalgic 80s. <laughs> Already right, got oh, no yeah. compartment on this one. It's a two-piece or so. I could run full for backpacking, then if I get tired of here, I want a bottle cut just back. When I get somewhere, like we went to Catalina two weeks ago, do some bikepacking, we bike pack there, and then we kind of download at the hotel, leave our stuff, and take only what we want. So I was able to take off the lower half and then just carry what I needed in here with food, propane tank, oh, okay. essentials. It's, it looks like a full frame bag, but it's actually two bags in one. You can either ride with both or one. So it connects via Velcro mm -hmm. for, for the whole unified? From the center to keep the top mount and then around the frame in there. It's awesome. Problem. <laughs> so that's it for this video. Let me know which accessories you guys want us to review. Leave those in the comments below. And as always, keep the supple side down.